Before his departure, Mr. Wang Yi met with his Egyptian counterpart, Sameh Shukri. Strengthening ties and cooperation topped the agenda of talks between the two officials. We stressed on the intention of China and Egypt in promoting their ties and raising them to a higher level. China has suggested to raise the relationship from the current strategic partnership to what is known as a common destiny, and we are working on this. There are multiple conflicts in the region, such as Yemen, Syria and Libya. But China and Egypt see eye to eye on how to deal with these crises to avoid an escalation. Our stance is that the political solution is the only solution for Libya and other countries. Foreign and military intervention and the use of force will always lead to escalation of violence and complicating matters. We have established a joint committee that Minister Shukri and myself will head. It will plan and coordinate all forms of cooperation and policies between the two countries. The top officials also discussed economic cooperation and the Belt and Road Initiative. The two sides agreed on a quicker pace in finalizing the Belt and Road. We will work on a synergy between the Belt and Road and Egypt's Vision 2030. We will plan and expand the cooperation in this regard, including the Suez Canal Industrial Zone, the new capital, the railway sector, as well as the renewable energy projects and space. We agreed on strengthening efforts in supporting Egypt's development goals and economic reforms. Many Chinese companies will be investing in projects that develop the infrastructure, in addition to China's financial support in the form of loans and grants. Mr. Wang Yi had earlier met Egyptian President Abdel Fattah Sisi. Mr. Sisi expressed his deep respect to Chinese President Xi Jinping. He also said he looks forward to further boost the strategic partnership between both countries. The meetings with Egypt's top officials bring to end Mr. Wang Yi's visit to the North African country. Yes, Hakim, for CGTN, Cairo.